Hello everyone, today we are going to implement a small application where we make use of the clipper in Flutter. So the first thing what we are going to do, we create here another widget, which we call first page. And we also create here a direct a second page. And we also go here and create two clippers, the first page clipper and the second page clipper. So first of all, we will start with the first page. So we will write here first page inside, import it here. And now in our first page, we go here with the widget, which is called clip pass. And here we have many options. So we set here clipper first of all, which we set to first page clipper. If we go over this clipper here and press control, we see what it needs. We need here a custom clipper with the generics of pass. So we will go here and create exactly this custom clipper pass. And then we need to import two methods. And in our clip pass widget, we have next to our clipper, this child property here where we said what we want to clip. In our case, we will clip a container which is red and has the size of the half screen. So if we hot reload it, it looks like this. And then in our first page clipper, which is responsible for clipping this red container widget here, we set here a pass and we set the pass line to 00, zero size height, which means the pass itself begins at 00, zero like here. And then we say it should go this pass from this here to this point. Then we want to do a little bit clipping here around later. And then we want to go to size width zero, 00, which means this position here. So we end here with our clipping and then we want to go to this position. And then we want to close the pass, which means it will clip this. Then our thing, what we are doing here, and it clips then to this location and it clips to this. So we have everything and clip only here a little bit. So the last thing we need to do is to set something here. And here we can set, for example, a pass cubic to, which has three coordinates and we can supply this three coordinates where we want to clip. So the first point I've chosen that we clip until 25% of the width, width, which might be here. And the height of this container we want to clip by 85%, which is something like here, maybe. And then we set another point, in this case, 75% of our width, which might be here. And then the height of 60%, which might be a little bit higher, like here. And the last point we set is size, width and height, which is this point here. So let's reload it. And then it looks like this. So we have these three points. The last point is this point, which is here. The first point is where we have this line here too. This is might be this point. Then we have at 25% here something around 85 height. Then we want to go to our 75% where we have 60. And then we go to our last point here again. So that's what you can do. You can play around with it and create your own curve and clip the things how you like them. So it's pretty easy and you can even combine like multiple of these cubic two. You can, can cut here until the middle and have another cubic two and cut here something until the end. It's up to you. So what we will do here in our first page, we will create a method which is called build background. And here we set it with the context and a height. And here we just return it for now context and height. And here we want to set multiple widgets. So we go here with the column so that we can show multiple widgets underneath. And here I want to set this clipper here. And then I set the other clipper again. So we have two clippers and this one, I give it a color of orange. And now what I want to do is like to rotate it and show it next to this widget so that we have two open widgets next to each other. So that's what we are going to do. To rotate this widget here, we want to set this method, rotate, and I will comment this here out, first of all. So we set this rotate to our second widget here, which we want to rotate. And if we do this, you see we have this rotation right now. So by P, which means 180 degrees, it's rotated. And now we also need to rotate it 
into the other direction here. So we will go and add this rotation also. And now it looks much more symmetric, which is really beautiful, I think. And we also want to set here color for this, which we clipped away. So we go here to our built background and wrap it around with the container. And this container, we give it a color. I set it to deep purple for now. And then we have this drawing here on the right side. Another thing which I want to do is to have here text, here text, and here text. So what we do here, we wrap this here into a stack. So we go with column and turn it to a stack. And here we set the text. And now we have in this shape, which is quite similar to a leaf, I think, this text here. And for our containers, we want also to set a text. So we set here for our type property, this central text here, where I pass a text and also color. So let's create this central text method here. We just have here text and we give it here a color and center this text. And if we hot reload it, it looks like this. So we have here, I came, I saw, and everyone who is familiar with Caesar knows what comes next. So we go to our second widget here and set also the child property to this text here. If we hot reload it, this text is not on the right side because we rotated this widget itself. So what we need to do here is to rotate this widget itself. So what we do here is we go and wrap it with the widget, which we just take rotate. And now the text is correct. So we have our first page completed and we will also create another page. Back in our main file, we change this first page to our second page. And in our build method, we create a clip pass like we did it before and also set to our clipper variable the second page clipper. And we go here with the same, we have here a container of color red. And now we need here to do the same. So we go here and extend from a custom clipper. And we need to create these both methods. And here again, we create a pass and we set the pass line to zero, zero size height. So we again begin here and set it to this point here. Then we want to do our clipping here. And then we set it to size width 0, 0, which is here, this point coordinate. So we go from this to this, and then we close the pass. So we go from this point to this point, and he will clip it for us. And now we want to add here again some clipping. This pass variable here has also another Bezier function. So we take this, and here we set a control point and an endpoint. So we start here, then we have, for example, here, this as an endpoint, and another one is a control point in between, which is used to draw this clipping line. So for example, I set the control point to 25% and 40 in height. So it's like here and somewhere this case. So the control point means that we don't go to this place directly, but it's only, it goes to this direction. And another point we set is by 50% and to 75%. So we will not end here with this 40%. It will go only in this direction. So let's draw it. So it is not drawn to the 40% like I said before, because 40% might be somewhere here. It only goes into the direction and it knows the second point, And so it will have like an altitude between these both points. And we are only clipping until here. And the problem right now is that it then goes directly aligned to size width zero zero from this point. So it will automatically go to this point. That's what you can do, but we want to have another clipping here. So we will add here another bis here too. And again, we set here a control point, which is 75% of the width, which might be here. And the height is 95%. So 100% is here and 95% is quite here. So 75% in width and 95% in height might be here, which is only the control point. So we will not reach this point. It will only go into this direction again. So the end point of our curve is size point width, which is here to the right side. And the height is 60%, so we might end here. Let's look how it looks like. It looks like this. So we end here by 60%. But the control point we will never reach. So it's only a control point. It goes into this direction because 95% is here, but it will never reach this point because it needs to altitude between these 
two values so it will never reach it only is some value which says okay go into this direction and with these both functions which i have showed you it's pretty amazing and simple to create these curves hello everyone thank you so much for watching this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about flutter and see you soon bye